how can we integrate tangent to the third of x dx? What is the indefinite integral of that expression? What we're going to do is we're going to split it into two parts, tan squared and tangent x. Now, the reason why we want to do that is because tangent squared is equal to an identity. 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. So if we subtract both sides by 1, tan squared is secant squared minus 1. And so let's replace tan squared with this expression. And so now we have the integral of secant squared minus 1 times tangent x. And I'm going to distribute tangent to both terms inside br the brackets. So it's going to be secant squared times tangent x and then minus tangent x dx. Now what I'm going to do is separate this into two integrals. So the first one is just going to be the integral of secant squared tangent x and then the second one is the integral of tangent x. Now let's not forget dx. Now let's start with the first integral. So what do we need to do in order to integrate secant squared tangent x dx? Now it's important to know that the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So when you see something like that, it tells you that you need to do a u substitution or something like that. So let's make u equal to tangent x so that du will be equal to secant squared x dx. So let's replace tangent x with the u variable. So this is going to be the integral of u. And then let's replace secant squared dx with du because du is equal to secant squared dx. So we have the integral of u du. And using the power rule for integration, we're going to add 1 to the exponent and then divide by that result. So now we need to replace u of tangent. So we have the integral of secant squared tan x, which is 1 half tangent squared x plus c. So I'm just going to see if I can fit that here. And save that later for reference. Now let's focus on the integral of tangent x. How can we integrate tan x? What ideas would you recommend? The first thing I would recommend is to convert tangent into sine over cosine. And then we could use u substitution. We're going to make u equal to cosine x, so du is going to be negative sine x dx. Solving for dx, that's going to be du over negative sine. So let's replace cosine x with the u variable, and let's replace dx with du over negative sine. So this is going to be the integral of sine x divided by u, and dx is du over negative sine x. So we could cancel sine, and I'm going to move the negative sign to the front. So we have negative integral 1 over u du. The antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural log of u. And u is equal to cosine. So this is going to be ln cosine of x. Now, there's a negative 1 in front of the natural log symbol. So I'm going to move that to the front. That's a property of logs. So this becomes ln cosine x raised to the minus 1 power. And cosine raised to the negative 1 is the same as 1 divided by cosine. And 1 over cosine is secant. So you need to know that the integral of tangent x is ln secant, or ln 1 over cosine. But typically, it's usually written as ln secant, which is what we're going to do in this video. So now let's write the final answer. So the final answer for 
the integral of tangent cube x dx, it's going to be 1 half tangent squared x minus the natural log of secant x. If you were to take this negative sign and put it here, that would be secant to the minus 1, which is cosine. And then plus c. So for the most part, the answer will be in this form. But you could write the answer like this if you want to get rid of the negative sign. This is equivalent to 1 half tangent squared plus ln cosine x plus c. So that's an alternative form to this answer.